As the temperatures heat up, electric companies say Freon is harder to come by. A recent federal rule is phasing out the old AC refrigerant. KPRC News Bill Barajas joining us live in the newsroom to explain what we need to know about this one, Bill. Yeah, Lisa, the government rolled out that new environmental mandate at the start of 2025, which now requires techs to use a new greener type of Freon. Instead of the old 410A new AC units, we'll use 454B Freon. And finding that Freon or the container it comes in has proven challenging at times because of shortages or supply chain issues. But there's an even bigger concern for homeowners with older AC systems. If you have a system and you don't know if it's an old system or a new system and you see the story, what do you do? Call someone. We'll walk you through it. We'll let you know where you're at. And that's what you're looking for out of an HVAC professional is tell me how old my system is. Tell me what shape it's in. Tell me what I need to do to prolong the life or protect the system. Tell me how I can make it more efficient. Joe Bainey, the general manager at John Moore Services, says knowing where you stand is key. If you put it off, it may end up costing you thousands later. Most of us have condensers like this at our house. And the copper line run from the condenser outside in to your coil, whether it's in your attic or it's in a mechanical closet. Inside of this is where your refrigerant is. So it's not visible, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's what operates the cooling system. And, you know, the new cooling system won't operate off of the old Freon, right? So you can't mix and match. It's, it's, they both have to be compatible. They both have to operate off of the same refrigerant. So if something like this, the coil is, uh, is bad, uh -huh and you have an old system, you may not be able to find that part anymore. That is correct. How hard is it to find that part right now? It's, it's, it hasn't been incredibly hard so far, but it's getting harder. Um, and there is getting to be time frame that, you know, hey, I've got to source one, I've got to find one, oh, they don't have one. And you might not be able to get the same brand, right? And that's because they're just no longer making them anymore. Correct. Stop making them at the end of 24. I was reading that there was a shortage in, in the Freon itself mm -hmm. and the container that it comes in. Correct. Are you guys Guys is seeing that we are seeing it uh, we got out in front of it you know pretty big company I could get out in front of it so I have stock right now um, but it's depleting and and if it does run out well then I can't even install new equipment right but uh, the manufacturers are kind of piecing it together so we're still able to go Bainey says waiting to have your AC unit serviced could result in you needing a whole new system, which he estimates could cost twenty dollars to $25,000, depending on the size of your home. Coming up at 10, why the shortage is affecting smaller companies and how much that small jug of Freon is going for in some places. Live in the newsroom, Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. My anxiety is up at this point, Bill. We're all paying attention to this news today. Uh, thank you very much for the heads up on that one. And Dodge